day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about graphing linear equation using table of values. Alright! Okay, so here are the steps in graphing linear equation in two variables using table of values. So first step is for us to rewrite our equation or given equation to the slope-intercept form. Okay, second step is for us to complete a table of value by substituting your choice of values of x into the equation. Take note that you can use any real number as a value of x. Then, substitute for the value of y. Use as many points as necessary or use as many points as necessary to determine the shape of the graph. And step 3 is plot the points and draw a line through them. Now, let's have some examples in graphing linear equation in two variables using table values. Alright, for example, we're going to graph the equation x plus y is equal to 4. So first step is for us to rewrite it to slope-intercept form. So our slope-intercept form of that equation is y is equal to negative x plus 4. Then prepare our table of values. Again, you can choose any real numbers for the value of x. So for me, I'm going to pick negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now, from there, I'm going to start substituting the value of x to my slope-intercept form. So we will have our first value of x, which is negative 1. We will get y is equal to 5. So that will be our first coordinate, which is negative 1. Let's do that again, but this time we're going to substitute 0 to the value of x. We substitute y is equal to negative 0 plus 4. Simplifying that, we will get y is equal to 4. So our next point will be 0, 4. And next, next, let's substitute 1 to the value of x. So we will get y is equal to negative 1 plus 4. Simplifying that, y is equal to 3. So we will have a coordinate 1, and last one, let's have 2 for the value of x. So substituting 2 to the value of x, we will get negative 2 plus 4. And simplifying that, we will have value of y that is equal to 2. Our next coordinate will be 2, 2. Now that we have our coordinates, it is time for us to plot that in our rectangular coordinate system. So again, we're going to plot negative 1, 5. It is located here. 0, 4, 1, 3, and 2, 2. And then connect the points with a line. And that is the graph of our equation x plus y is equal to 4. Alright, let's have another example. For example, we are going to graph 6x minus 3y is equal to 9. So first thing that we need to do is to convert this to our slope intercept form so it is going to be y is equal to 2x minus 3 then let's prepare our table of values now assign any values of x so for me i'm just going to assign negative 1 0 1 4 now the reason why i always use negative 1 0 1 2 is that it is easier for me to substitute smaller numbers okay but again, you can use any number or any values for x. After that, let's substitute negative 1 to our slope-intercept form. So we have 2 times negative 1 minus 3. Simplifying that, we will get y is equal to negative 5. So we have our first coordinate, which is negative 1, negative 5. Now let's substitute 0 to the value of x. So we will have 2 times 0 minus 3. Simplifying that, we will get y is equal to negative 3. Our second coordinate will be 0, negative 3. Now, let's substitute 1 to our equation. So, we have y is equal to 2 times 1 minus 3. Simplifying that, we will get y is equal to negative 1. So, the value of y is negative 1. So, we have our third coordinate, which is 1, negative 1. Let's substitute 2 to our slope-intercept form. We will get y is equal to 2 times 2 minus 3. Simplifying that, we will have y is equal to 1. And that will be our fourth coordinate for our graph, which is 2, 1. Now that we have our coordinate, it is time for us to graph it in our rectangular coordinate system. So, 
we have the following coordinates. We have negative 1, negative 5. It is located here in the third quadrant. We have 0, negative 3. It is located here in our y-axis. And we have 1, negative 1. It is in quadrant 4. And 2, 1, which is in quadrant 1. Now, if you can observe, we will now form a line by connecting the four points. Now, that's the graph of our equation 6x minus 3y is equal to 9. Alright, let's have another example. For example, we're going to graph the equation x minus 3y is equal to 6. So, first step is to rewrite this equation to slope-intercept form. So, the slope-intercept form of this equation is y is equal to 1 third x minus 2. Second step is for us to prepare our table of values. Now, let's assign values of x in our table of values. Now, since we have a numerical coefficient of x in our slope intercept that is a fraction, to avoid having a y value that is also a fraction, look at the denominator and pick the value of x that is a multiple of your divisor or the denominator. So in this case, I picked the following numbers, negative 3, 0, 3, and 6. So by choosing this uh, multiples of 3 which is our denominator we will end up having a value of y that is also an integer let's substitute the values of x to our equation okay so we have y is equal to 1 third times negative 3 minus 2 simplifying that we will have negative 1 minus 2 which is y is equal to negative 3 so we now have our first coordinate of our graph which is negative 3, negative 3. Now, let's substitute 0 to our value of x. So, we will have 1 third times 0 minus 2. Simplifying that, we will have y is equal to negative 2. So, now, our second coordinate will be 0, negative 2. Next, let's substitute 3 to our equation. So, y is equal to 1 third times 3 minus 2. Simplifying that, we will have 1 minus 2, so y is equal to negative 1. So our third coordinate will be 3, negative 1. And last one, let's substitute 6 to our given equation. We have y is equal to 1 third times 6 minus 2. Simplifying that, we will have 2 minus 2. y is equal to 0. Our fourth coordinate will be 6, 0. Now that we have our coordinates, it is time for us to plot that in our rectangular coordinate system. We will now plot negative 3, negative 3, neg it is located here. We have 0, negative 2, it is along the y-axis. We have 3, negative 1, it is here in our fourth quadrant. And 6, 0, which is along the x-axis. Now, let's connect the dots. We have the graph of our equation x minus 3y is equal to 6. Alright, okay, let's have our last example for today. For example, we're going to graph the equation 6x minus 4y is equal to 12. So, first step that we need to take is for us to rewrite this to slope-intercept form. So, rewriting it, we will have y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 3. Second step, let's prepare our table of values and then we're going to pick values of x that we're going to use in order for us to solve for the value of y. So again, choose any real number. So since our coefficient of x is a fraction, focus on the multiples of our denominator. So pick numbers of x that are multiples of our denominator. So what I picked is negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. All of them are multiples of 2. Now, let's solve for the value of y given this value of x. So, let's start first with negative 2. Let's substitute negative 2 to our given equation. So, we have y is equal to 3 over 2 times negative 2 minus 3. Then, simplifying this, we will have negative 3 minus 3 y is equal to negative 6. So the value of y, if x is negative 2, is negative 6. We now have our first coordinate of our graph, which is negative 2, 
negative 6. Now, let's substitute 0 to our equation. We have y is equal to 3 over 2 times 0 minus 3. Any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So, we will have our answer or value of y which is equal to negative 3. Now, we have our second coordinate which is 0, negative 3. Then after that, let's substitute 2 to our equation. We have y is equal to 3 over 2 times 2 minus 3. Simplifying that, we'll have 3 minus 3, y is equal to 0. So we have our third coordinate which is 2, 0. And last one, let's substitute 4 to our equation. We will have 3 halves times 4 minus 3. Simplifying that, we will have y is equal to 6 minus 3. Our value of y is equal to 3. So we now have our fourth coordinate, which is 4, 3. Now that we have our coordinates, it's time for us to plot our coordinates to our rectangular coordinate system. So let's plot the following points, negative 2, negative 6. It is located here at our third quadrant. 0, negative 3. It is along the y-axis, okay? 2, 0 along x-axis, and we have and we have 4, 3. So we, it is located in our first quadrant. Now, after plotting all the points, we can now connect them. So this is the graph of our equation, 6x minus 4y is equal to 12. All right, now that you already know how to graph linear equation using the table of values, it's your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace!